I know some will say, can't why change the fuel injectors? It's this old philosophy, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And you're going to say, well, my engine is running okay, so why bother? Well, one thing, these engines are now 40 to 45 years old. Imagine how long those injectors have been spraying. You're running fuel in these engines that have ethanol, and they sit for a long time, particularly the SLs. They'll sit over winter, and you'll get a lot of gum and junk build up in the filters in those injectors, and the tips will start to perform poorly. So what I'm going to do right now is show you a couple scenes of recently testing some fuel injectors we removed from a good running <laughs> K-Jet engine. We're going to put a couple of these old ones on my tester and then we're going to compare it with a new one so you can see the difference in both the release and the spray pattern. But I thought it'd be interesting for you to see what's inside one of these. They are not repairable. They are not serviceable. You have fuel come down through this long nozzle and right there's a filter. And that little filter can become a problem over time. I found that the filters can become a problem. Also, the spring weakens. There's a little nozzle right there. These injectors don't open and close like most injectors. They're constant, CIS, constant, continuous injection occurring. So these are spraying all the time. They're not opening and closing. It's very important. So when you see what I'm going to show you on the tester, you'll understand this is just a benchmark test, if I could say. It's not a real test. You'd have to put them on a Bosch multi-thousand dollar tester to get a comparison of the exact spray patterns. But let me take you over there now. We're going to show you what one of these old injector sprays like. We've got a couple that aren't performing very well, and then we're going to show you a new one. Watch the gauge, and then we'll zoom in and look at the spray pattern. Okay, it's releasing about, you know, right there between 50 and 60 PSI, but it's jumping up there to about 100. Look at that. So it looks like it's binding a little bit. Now come down and take a look. Look at that spray. See, it's spraying off the side. And if you look, let's see, it's probably leaking. Let's see if it holds pressure. There we go. Look at the gauge. Let's do that again. See, it's leaking right down. So the, now check the drip here. I think you can see it dripping. All right, as it leaks down, see if it can, you can see a drip. Yeah, there's a drip. So that's what you call a bad CAS fuel injector. Now let's install a new one and see how that looks. Okay, you can see I have the new Bosch fuel injector installed in the capture bottle. And we're ready to test this. Notice the color of the fluid. That sure doesn't look like mineral spirits to me. <laughs> well, I want you to know I add a little bit of automatic transmission fluid, a small amount in with this test fluid or cleaner to help lubricate the seals in the pump. So I've closed the valve down on the pump, watched the gauge, and you're going to hear something very interesting when that injector starts firing. Okay, you're going to bring it up over 40. It's approaching 50. Listen and look. Come right down here. Look at that spray pattern. See how it's atomizing? And listen to the squeak. So in reality, this is running all the time, so you'd have to pump real fast like that, see? But look at the atomization of that. Now come back up to the gauge, and you can see it's... It's firing between 40 and the high 50s. Now I'm going to stop at 40. It's going to leak down a little bit because of air in the system, and then it should stabilize. And there you have it. You're going to maybe see a very small amount, but take a look at the tip. See, it's holding pressure, and there's no fuel leaking out of that tip of that injector. I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, why can't I use the old injectors? Well, you can if you can test them and they spray well and they hold pressure. 
What happens is these get all gummed up over time, particularly if the engines don't run, the fillers get gummed up. And what I found is you can put these on this tester and pump about 50 to 100 times and eventually they'll start to clean themselves out and they'll start to spray pretty well. So what I want to do here is show you one right now that's real bad. There's no way you're going to save this one. Watch. <laughs> can you believe that? Can you imagine that spraying? all the time. If some of you are wondering why you have a lousy smelling exhaust and are burning all kinds of fuel, it might be that your injectors are spraying like that. Look, it's not even building any pressure here. So this one's really bad. All right, now I'm going to put one back in that's actually tested pretty well. Now I have one of those used injectors installed here on the tester. And we ran this through the cleaning process. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot of work and wear your arm out, but you just keep pump, 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 and run that cleaner through to really clean out the filter and the tip. Now let's see how this one tests. Watch and listen. Now if you look, it's spraying pretty well, but notice the center cone is a little thicker, and it's not as fine mist as the new one we tested. And if this one's also firing up here, you know, a little bit lower, that means the spring's probably weak. This one would be releasing around 40 PSI, which is going to make a little bit of difference in performance. But when you multiply this by six and you're going to increase fuel consumption and poor acceleration or whatever, it's probably worth putting in new fuel injectors unless these are testing really well. I think you may find this interesting. The factory manual for the M116 and M117 engine actually shows a tester very similar to the one I produce. And it recommends using it to test and clean your injectors. And over here, it gives a very nice breakdown of the different spray patterns. From, from real bad, yeah, I think you saw the squirting one in one of mine, but you know, squirting off the side, then down here it says, this is a well-proportioned spray pattern right here. So you can see most of them were squirting fuel, which means the engine's gonna run. Maybe you're wondering why your fuel economy is so lousy, or why there's a really bad smell when you start the car up in your garage, or why does it smoke so much? <laughs> A lot of it has to do with those fuel injections. Obviously, there's other issues with these K-Jetronic systems, but I found that very seldom do these fuel injectors get replaced. I haven't seen uh, an old V8 for the last 10 years, I think, that has recent injectors in it. So this is something you want to do <laughs> if you want to get top performance out of your V8. And the other thing I might mention is that currently these fuel injectors are reasonably inexpensive. And as I've seen with a lot of products, these prices will start to go up. The price of the injectors on the later KE Jetronic injectors is going up. Imagine what's gonna happen when these are no longer available, because remember, they're not repairable. So it's a good thing because of availability and price that you consider doing this job now. Let me go over briefly what I include in my deluxe kit for the 350 and 450 engines. You get eight new Bosch injectors. These are authentic Bosch parts. You get eight new injector holders with new seals. And you also get eight upper seals which seal the top of the injector to the top of the sleeve here. Along with those basic items, I include some other things in the kit which will help you clean the injector holes, the old dirty injector holes in the cylinder head when you remove your old injectors and install the new ones. I decided if I was going to offer a injector replacement kit for the 380 engine that I had to make it complete. And you get into this and you think, oh, I'm gonna save the hoses or I'm gonna save the injector holders. <laughs> Most of the time you have to damage this stuff to get it off these old engines. So I've got the new evaporative system hoses. I've got the new injector holders with new seals. These are the top seals for the top of the injectors and then brand new Bosch injectors. And when you go to install them, you're gonna run into some real challenges. One of the challenges is cleanliness. 
and that's what this is for here. I've got some brushes so you can clean around the injectors and holders before you remove them. And then I have this special cloth and some synthetic grease that I will show you in the video on how to clean those holes out because they do get dirty. So along with all these items, there'll be a very long video showing you in detail how to remove the old injectors and install the new parts that you see here. I can't stress enough how amazed that you will be when you get these new parts installed and fire up your engine. Okay, we finished up this M110 engine. We're going to roll it outside here and you're going to get a chance to see how much better this engine runs. I'll include a short clip of it before we change injectors and then I'll include a recent clip when we started up and ran this engine yesterday. There we go. Now it's idling better. Let's put it in gear and see what happens. Ho ho! Now we're going to let it sit for about 20 minutes and come back and do a hot start. If you recall, that's where we were really having problems before. So if we've let it sit. Let's see what happens. Aha! Look at that! It started right up and idles fine. Listen to that baby. <laughs> 